Hello everyone, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I just felt I had to make this video, but hey, this is just an opinion, take it for what it's worth. Uh, this is my brand new Fluke 393 FC Cat 3 1500 volt uh, True RMS uh, clamp meter. The, this is really designed for the uh, solar installation folk. Um, I recently purchased this on my own money, um, basically for over a thousand dollars. Um, first impression, it's a very good meter. It does do a lot of what you would expect from a Fluke. You know, it's, the system is very simple, easy layout, Fluke. It even has the Fluke Connect, uh, beautiful jaws, um, sturdy, narrow, works with gloves. Um, if you're outdoors, you know, it can take a bit of water. You can drop it a little bit. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a decent meter. However, one of the biggest gripes I have, and this is probably why I'm going to return this meter is the one feature here. In the actual brochure and the cell sheet of this meter, they show uh, a technician, and again, this is my opinion. I probably interpreted this wrong, so oh well. Um, they show this feature, which is right here. The DC volts plus uh, DC amps as a secondary with this yellow button, and the, the V plus A, which is DC, the brochure shows that you just take the conductor and you would open the jaw, put your conductor through for measuring DC, um, or maybe a typical solar panel or whatever, and you're supposed to get um, the KVA or amps, or if you push the secondary, you would get DC volts and DC amps. Well, find out, um, I read the manual, and it's very vague actually. Again, this is all my opinion. In order to use this feature, to get the DC amps, all you have to do again is put the conductor, you know, through the jaw and you will get your, uh, your DC amps. But your DC volts will be zero because you supposedly have to put in the probes, which are black and red, and then find a point in your DC circuit to measure physically with the probes. So I'm supposed to hold the meter. I'm then supposed to put the meter with the jaws through the conductor that I want to measure the, in this case, DC amps, and then find a, a spot on the circuit that is going to break this conductor so I can measure voltage. Uh, for a thousand bucks, hey, I don't know. I figured I could at least measure DC volts, DC amps in the same config with no probes, just as the brochure says. I find out that that's wrong. So maybe I should have read more about the manual. I should have read the cell sheet. Maybe I should have called Fluke. Either way, um, it's my mistake. I'm just very mad that that feature, which I really wanted, I need basically like four hands. I got to hold the meter and do all this stuff to then measure uh, volts and amps. I may as well just, you know, put it in uh, DC volts measure, then put it in amps and do the same thing. It's just, I don't know. It, it For a really good meter that I like Fluke, I have many of their products. I'm not bashing them. I just, I made a mistake. So this meter is going to go back. Um, I really had high hopes, but, uh, you know, that feature, I really didn't think I needed probes to measure the voltage and DC amps at the same time. But I guess I do. And uh, if anybody knows anything, please correct me. Let me know. But I made a mistake. And um, this is just, you know, one person's opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Um, but if you don't care for that little nuance, yeah, this is a good meter. It has all your basic functions. It works good. And, uh, it, you know, it's a quality meter. It's actually made in, uh, it's actually made in China, you know. Um, I'm also surprised. I figured it'd be made in the United States. But anyway, uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But uh, there's your, uh, your bottom. That's the top. Um, you know, there's your buttons. Again, it is a very nice meter. I'm just, uh, yeah, kind of disappointed that I, I need probes. A lot of what I do, I don't, want, I, I don't want probes. The more probes you have, it's more dangerous. This I can just stick in the thing. But anyway, just give me an opinion. Um, take care of what it's worth. Hope this helps anyone. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Thanks so much.